Welcome to the collection instruction demonstration video for dried blood spot vibrant testing. In this video, you will be guided through the process of collecting a dried blood spot sample. Clean and clear a space at which you will collect your sample. Do not open the dry blood spot kit until you are advised to do so by your attending healthcare professional. When instructed, open your kit and lay out your materials according to the placemat, which can be found on the last sheet of your instruction booklet. Verify the name and date of birth on the specimen collection card. Write the date and time you are collecting your sample on the specimen collection card. Open the alcohol wipe that is provided in your collection kit and place it on the clean collection surface while you wash your hands. Wash your hands thoroughly under warm water. Rub your hands and especially your fingertips vigorously to stimulate blood flow. Make sure the water is warm, but not too hot. Dry them with a clean towel. Choose a finger to poke on your non-dominant hand. If you are right-handed, you will take your blood sample from your left hand. If you are left-handed, you will take your blood sample from your right hand. Choose an area on the side of your finger to poke. If you poke the pad of your finger, you may have a harder time getting blood to flow. It is recommended that you choose the side of your finger. Pick up the lancet and twist the cap off. Rub your finger from base to tip to stimulate blood flow. Wipe your chosen finger with the alcohol wipe in one single wipe. Do not wipe back and forth multiple times with the alcohol wipe. With your palm facing up, press the lancet to your finger until you hear a click sound and feel a slight pinch. You should see a drop of blood begin to appear. Wipe the first drop of blood away with the gauze pad. Milk your finger from base to tip to produce more blood. Allow a drop of blood to form. Let the blood drop fall from your fingertip into the collection circle. If you are not getting enough blood to flow to the puncture site, stand up and try milking the finger from below your waist to allow gravity to assist with blood flow. Do not touch your finger to the card. Fill each circle as full as possible, but do not add a second drop of blood to a circle. If you are having trouble getting enough blood to flow from your fingertip, consider drinking more water to hydrate, walking around, or milking the finger with your hand below your waist from a standing position. Once you are finished, your specimen collection card should look similar to this. If your card is incorrectly filled, it will be rejected. Here are examples of incorrectly filled specimen cards. Once you have filled all of the circles on the specimen collection card, 
Use your gauze pad to wipe away any remaining blood from your finger. Apply pressure to it and then apply the bandage. Put the used Lancet alcohol pads and gauze sponge in the additional biohazard bag. These will need to be returned to the laboratory for safe biohazard disposal. Let your collection card sit for at least two hours to dry before sending it back. Place it in a cool, dry place away from sunlight. Do not add additional blood drops after your blood has dried. After the blood spots have dried for at least two hours, fold the collection card, place it in the empty biohazard bag, along with the humidity indicator, and silica gel packs and seal it tight. Place both biohazard bags in the bubble mailer. Wash your hands, drop off your sample the same day as collection before the last pickup.